Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of classifying two dimensional shapes. This is standard 4.6D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Hayden is drawing a polygon, has exactly two right angles, and then which of these could it be? All right, so we've got a polygon, so let's label that right here. So a polygon is a closed shape, it means no openings, and it's got all straight lines, no curves. So circles are not polygon. So that is going to be shapes like triangle, square, hexagon, octagon, decagon. We need two right angles, but they're going to give us some options here. So let's start with our, uh, our right triangle. Let's make sure we understand what we're looking for with these right angles. So a right angle is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees, or sometimes I like to call it a square corner. And so we will visualize it sometimes like this. Looks kind of like a capital L. It's got one line that's vertical, one line that's horizontal. You can also rotate a little bit, but either way it's going to still form that square corner. And we'll sometimes draw that little square in there. So we need two of those in a shape. So let's start with A, our right triangle. So we know that a right triangle, I'll just make one that looks just like that. A right triangle has one right angle, but by definition it can't have more than one. Right triangle's got one right angle and then it's got two acute angles. Triangles only have three angles, and if you try to put two right angles into a triangle, it's just not a triangle anymore. It's going to at least have to be a quadrilateral. Could be possibly more. So unfortunately, it's not going to be that. Now, a right trapezoid. That's kind of an odd one. So let's, let's pretend we don't know what that is. I know what a right trapezoid is, but let's just pretend we don't. Sometimes it's good to just kind of skip something if we're not sure. And let's come over here to our rectangle. Oh, okay, we know what a rectangle is. So a rectangle has four sides. And what makes a rectangle a rectangle? It's a parallelogram that actually has four right angles. All four corners are 90 degrees. So it definitely has at least two but we're looking for exactly two. So unfortunately, it's got too many. And then let's check our rhombus. Okay, so sometimes we'll call a rhombus a diamond, but that's not really a name. Think of the pattern blocks. You have actually have two rhombuses in your pattern blocks. Your rhombus has four equal sides. That's what makes a rhombus a rhombus, four equal sides. So in this particular rhombus, you don't have any right angles. You can actually merge a rhombus and a rectangle. If you put a shape together that's got four equal sides and four right angles, well, you can get a square. A square is a special type of rhombus and rectangle put together, but that's got four right angles. So even if I drew my special rhombus, which is actually a square, it's got too many right angles. So even by process of elimination, we can say it's going to be this B. So let me draw you a right trapezoid right here. So here's our normal trapezoid. We think like this, but that's not a normal trap. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a right trapezoid. So it's a trapezoid that's got something that looks like this. Because the trapezoid is simply a quadrilateral. It's got one pair of parallel lines. So if you put a right angle in there, the other angle has to be right as well. So there we go. Our right trapezoid has these two right angles, and our answer is B.